Right, ladies and gentlemen, lovely, 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 scarce 1985 exhibition catalogue for an exhibition that was held at the Castle Museum in Nottingham called Train Spotting: Images of the Railway in Art, with a lovely, famous Eric Revillius um, third-class carriage of the white horse there um, on the cover. And it's a lovely, sort of scholarly, but it belonged to, by the way, to somebody called John House, who's a distinguished um, Courtauld Institute uh, art historian. Um, and it's um, a lovely Lovely, wide-ranging, but um, sort of uh, accessible catalogue. Images of the railway in 19th century paintings and prints, bibliographies. It's got um, uh, along imaginary lines, the train in modern art and literature. These are different es illustrated essays. Railways in caricature and illustration. Industrial photography and the railways, 1850-1914. 19th century photography, 19th century exhibits, 20th century exhibits. And it's copiously illustrated under those headings with lovely... Um, Cartoons, there's a full bibliography, wonderful pictures of Holmes and Watson in a train. Um, uh but where we've got sort of all sorts of um, uh, 19th century images, uh, famous cartoons, streamlined deco trains, uh, deco imagery, travel posters from the 30s, L.S. Lowry, it goes on and on. Uh, lovely sort of art, arts and crafts uh, railway stations in the home counties or wherever. Um, St. Pancras Station. So it's paintings uh, and illustrations to do with, which illustrate railways, the two famous uh, paint versions of the same painting there. Turner, of course, and so on. But the essays are scholarly, uh, but readable, and the um, exhibits uh, beautifully chosen, and it's a fine and scarce catalogue. Currently on the 140 million volume Abe Books Antiquarian Book site, uh, there is one copy of this for sale, and it is priced at £20. My copy, which is in excellent condition, is starting at less than that. Thanks so much indeed. Bye.